Hey everyone, this is Sean. Welcome to Edge of Breakup. I have a really, really special week this week. We're looking at the Chase Bliss Habit. Now, it took me some time to actually understand this pedal. I know a lot of folks say that about Chase Bliss. I've never found them hard to approach or hard to understand what's going on. I've even, you know, a lot of folks shy away from using the dip switches on the top of the pedal, but I've never really had a problem, you know, understanding that stuff. This pedal is really, well, for one, this pedal is just so immensely powerful and it's all about the workflow of how you approach it. So it's all about what you want to make with it and how you envision building that. So, um, you know, if you just jump in this pedal and play, there are some really awesome like tape delay sounds with wow and flutter. But if you really want to harness the next level that you unlock with the spread and scan knobs, I would recommend that this is definitely an RTFM pedal. You need to read that manual and man, the manual is just so gorgeous. It's so cool to see Eric doing his thing at Chase Bliss. I've been a fan of his for so long, collecting a lot of guitar pedal theme posters he's released over the years. So seeing his artwork on the face of this new rebranded Chase Bliss experience, it's just awesome to see rad, nice people succeed in this world. So I wanted to take you on a little journey with me through the habit and just play completely extemporaneously off the top of my head, but with a drum track that I then later remixed. And as long as I was playing to a tempo, all the things that Habit brings back. Habit is like a three minute tape loop that brings back echoes of the past into your delay signal. So you do need to be pretty strategic with what you play. If you wanna keep your playing in the same key center, for instance, you're almost guaranteed that you're gonna get some cool recycled artifacts back that are gonna create unexpected but still consonant moments that are very musical. Now, the further back it searches, which you, you can control with the scan knob, and also you can dip switch automate on the scan knob, the further back it goes in time and searches for stuff, the more likely that it might find something that doesn't gel quite with the current moment. So a lot of planning and self-awareness of what you're playing, it goes a long way when you're creating spontaneous songs in the moment with this pedal. It was also just an amazing way to create really interesting glitched out moments. Um, some of the best moments playing with the habit, I wasn't even actually playing guitar at all. The repeats were jacked up so it was like an endless tape loop and I could just turn the guitar volume down so I don't hit the strings on accident and then just start turning knobs and getting different sounds out of the habit. It created so many inspiring textures that I would have expected only to get from DJ software or a synth or other means and you can do all this with a guitar now. Joel and Knobs and Paul over at Chase Bliss. I'm such a fan of the company and I'm so happy to bring you this video today. I think I'm gonna be featuring the habit a lot and bringing it back into other videos because it is just such an inspiration machine. Um, it took me a while to even decide what I wanted to say about the habit in this monologue and I can't possibly sum it up in a very quick way, but sometimes in life it takes a while to get to know people and I think the habit is kind of it has that characteristic. Your appreciation for it will deepen over time as you get to know it and bring it into your arsenal and figure out how you want to use it. I'm at the beginning of that journey, but I don't think it's a race towards mastery. I'm just trying to really enjoy the journey and the conversation with the pedal and what it brings out of me as I create. So looking forward to sharing this with you. And thank you again for Chase Bliss for sending this over. It's just a really, really cool concept in a pedal. Folks, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Every Friday at 9 a.m., I'm publishing the newest guitar gear and hottest guitar tone, so make sure that you ring the bell so that you get a notification so you know when I drop new content. With that, let's jump into the first look at the Chase Bliss Habit. What an incredible pedal and concept. Thank you so much for sending this over, Chase Bliss.
Thank you.